Welcome back, family, to Northside LDN, caramba. And today, we've got news. It's Bayern Munich playing mind games with Arsenal with all these reports of Kane being injured, Neuer being injured. Is it all mind games or are they actually going to be out? And does that mean that all of a sudden, Arsenal have a better chance of progressing in the Champions League? We've got that. We've also got news surrounding Arsenal players that may be leaving. We've also got Chelsea news. Or Ashley Cole getting into... Um, is he an Arsenal legend or not? Or is he more a Chelsea legend? And we also got Gallagher. We've got news surrounding Gallagher. Is uh, is it Gallagher or Riot? We're going to get into that. Before we get into all of that, big up Staffy. You're jumping on, bro. How are you doing? I'm doing good, bro. I'm doing good. Thanks for having me again. Always a pleasure being here. Lewis, obviously, big up. Mo, big up. And big up to everyone in the chat. Uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff, you know. Don't listen to Northside. He's toxic and negative. You guys are better than that. Don't let him influence you. That's all I'm saying. But big up, big up. What yes. the fuck? What did I get myself into? Oh, my God. I am in the three negative people stream. Mm. No, no, no. Oh Positivity. God. No. Oh, God. You're, you're with Lee Gunners. All out lost out children. Get out. Pochettino out. Absolutely fantastic stream. Fantastic. No to terrorism. Oh, what are you selling me? You good? I'm all right, bro. I'm good. I'm good. Glad to be here, bro. Absolutely. Oh, thank you. Pleasure, bro, to be here. Nah, Are you in Zaggy out since that loss, Mo? No, we won't fucking win the league. I can't be out. I'll be like <laughs> Zaggy out. So you're a top uh you're a top Milanista, or I don't know what you guys call yourselves. Uh, I fucking called him all the names in the world in that watch along. So <laughs> Oh, oh Staffy, today we got to do tag team to wind him up. We got to, we must, we must do tag team. hundred percent. No, triple threat match, because Lewis is jumping in the zone. Oh, fuck, the shield. Oh. Big up to Lewis, man. What are you telling me, my guy? You good? Yeah, big up, man. Big up. We might as well call this the anti-terrorist hotline, the way things have been going. Come on, shield and all of that. Let's man. go. Let's go. Mind yes, mind yes, it's, yes, been, it's been peaceful. No, no Chelsea to ruin the week. We're going to start with Thankfully. Chelsea. And Mo's going to wind you up in about five minutes. You'll see. We're going to start Gallagher or Riot. What's going on with your fan base, Lewis, man? Let me know. What's going on? Oh, oh perfect timing because I, I think I have it up here. But yeah, let me let me share this screen for you quickly because this is what our fan base is doing now. This is what we're doing. If, if they sell Connor, we, we riot. T-shirts. And, and mugs uh, and mugs are uh, a whole 15 quid for an if they sell connor we riot mug 20 quid if you live in the u.s including paying packaging you got 25 quid for the shirt 30 quid for the shirt this is what we're doing now this is how this is where the standards of my football club is at one meaty player who Hasn't yet signed the contract. I'm not going to say hasn't agreed to sign the contract because I don't think this is a Mason Mount situation. I think there's might be a disparity in terms of wages, although I, I kind of think it's more years, if anything, because from what we're hearing from Fabrizio, Gallagher's not asking for a lot of money. So I think the problem is more that we might be offering six, seven, eight year contracts for low wages, which if that's the case, I won't lie. I, I'm kind of with Gallagher on that one. Like, if if you're gonna offer low wages, offer low years, so you can at least prove yourself, and then try and renegotiate for more wages. That's fair to him. That should be fair to the club as well. And that's why I'll stand by him. But in terms of all of this, like, I I, I don't care if he leaves. I don't care if he stays. And I don't know why we do like. He's not moved the needle at all for us in the two years he's been at Chelsea. I don't even think he's seen the top seven since he's been at Chelsea. Mm. And what? We're doing all of this because he runs around a lot. Because the same old tenacity, work rate and all of that crap. Like, this is this is Mason Mount 2.0 from the fan base. Where they're just overhyping a player who... We really shouldn't be trying to protest and scream and cry about to this level. If he re-signs, great. I'm not going to cry about it. I think he's a squad player. Fine. I have no issues for him in that sort of role for us. If he leaves, again, he's not a key player in my eyes. It's not that deep. But all of this stuff about trying to start riots and protests, if Conor Gallagher gets sold, 
Like, oh, well, what the hell? What the hell's happened to us? It's just another indictment of how low so, the standards you, in this fan base has got. Don't you think this is because some of the fan base only see him playing for the shirt and everyone else is just... He's the only one, basically, not on a long-term contract. He's the only one not on a high wages. So he's the only one who's running around. You can say he's playing for another contract, but also he's the one... When you, when you watch all the commentators and you watch the Chelsea games, he's the one... His best might not be good enough for Chelsea, but some Chelsea fans, and I heard this, by the way, I heard this many times, that he's the only one playing for the actual jersey. He's the one playing for the badge. I've, I've I know that, that it doesn't mean anything for... Exactly, right? I heard but that. But, but, but the commentators come with an English bias, and like I uh -huh. see through their narrative. Their narrative is prop the free English Cobham graduate mm. so you can try and focus more on the two 100 million pound midfielders. I see it. And again, like they have underperformed in some games. I'm not going to say they've been perfect throughout the season, not doing that. But I see the narrative. They're going to pretend Gallagher's been head and shoulders above the pair of them. No, we're not doing that. We're not but playing he's the only, that game. But you, So you agree he's the only one playing for the badge? No, no, I agree that there is a narrative of it. I need to, to define what playing for the badge is. If it's just running around a little bit more, like yes. he's got a better engine. That's caring, one of Gallagher's caring, strengths. Caring, but putting to your body on the line, caring, putting your body on the line, getting the extra Putting your body in. on the line? What is putting the, your body on the line? I'm going to tell you what it is. <laughs> Go gonna, on, bro. Do you want me to tell you? Go for it. Angel Fernandez in the Liverpool game was putting in tackles just to show that I'm putting in the tackles. We all played football at some level. Amateur, not amateur. You know hmm. the player that puts in the tackle just to show the manager and show the fans, I am just putting in the tackle. And I'm highlighting that two tackles he did on Enzo for na or on Luis Diaz. Where he knows he's not getting the ball, he knows that Luis Diaz is going to push it around him and just move. And instead of containing and waiting for his teammate, he literally just flew did like jump in the tackle knowing that he's never gonna touch the ball but he looked like the guy who's ah, i tried so that's someone who's playing for half the game only which is going forward well, are we gonna say game. gallagher doesn't do that too okay now we're talking but you you so okay my point is we are defining what playing for the badges we can move to the second part which is who is doing that who isn't but you agree that enzo fernandez isn't playing for the badge because he is just putting the tackle to look like the guy who's putting the tackle. No, 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 I'm saying no, that's you your idea of not that. playing for the badge. Once you said... No, you're, you're yeah, saying... That's what I'm going to tell you. Once okay, you said... On. Lewis, once you said... Are you telling me that Gallagher isn't doing this? Now we moved from the... Arg you agreed that Enzo's doing this. Your argument is Gallagher doing this as well. So you already agreed that Enzo is doing that. What, you're, both you're making arguing. rash tackles at points in not games? Rash yeah, tackles, just tackles, not rash tackles. Tackles to show the manager that I'm just putting the tackle. I'm not actually playing to get the ball. No, but I'm saying no, I've I'm seen tackle. Gallagher do the exact sort of tackle where it looks like you're not getting the player, the ball either. Very rash, very late, high up in some instances. So I'm saying the argument that you're making for Enzo making those sorts of tackles, I can make the same argument for Gallagher. That's why I'm trying to say what defines playing for the badge and what makes him different to the other two in that way. Because I, I don't see it. Anybody else want to chime in? Listen, man. Yeah. You're on mute, Northside. Listen, I I'm letting you know because you're the North African Chavo Guerrero lying, <laughs> cheating and stealing. Always got to be devil's advocate. So we're letting you do what you got to do. You can do what you got to do. I am you not I mean? here. I'm not. No see, see the difference? <laughs> I am not trying to be devil's advocate. I am just presenting the narrative that the comment, every commentator here in America, even when you get the world feed, which is from the UK, mm. they all keep saying the same thing. They all keep saying the same thing, bro. It's the same yeah, but we're, but we're not sheep, game, bro. bro. We're not sheep. That's why no, but I'm watching it, it and I know I, I know what Galaxy No, no, I know what you mean. You're just saying what's being said. So you're just presenting the narrative out there. It's not necessarily Mo's opinion. Mo's just letting us know no, this is what But I also agree up. with it in at some point. I agree that Conor Gallagher way? is the only in the, the Conor Gallagher is the only one I feel when he plays, he's ready to die on the pitch. I don't know why. It might be for the badge, it might be for a new contract, by the way. I'm not in the guy's head, I'm not his agent. But what I'm seeing is, and I don't I do you all agree that Conor Gallagher 
looks on the pitch like he runs around more than everybody else. Is that is that something of that course, we see he, or no? Okay, of course, so we see agree. The same I think that's he's just that type of player. I don't think mm -hmm. it's a playing for the badge thing or like he gets the club more. I think he's just that type of guy. He's got an engine where he could run for three hours and still not lose any energy. All right, that's just him. Right, but yeah, let but me so let me let, let me see. Yeah, my club that does that. That doesn't mean bro, that you're my ass, bro. Just. Come on, Nketiah. No, I, I think English fans Nketiah, just bro. like take to that sort of character a lot more, and that's why no, they you're, see you're themselves. An argument based off a player running around. A player running around yeah. doesn't mean that you've got any quality. Doesn't mean that you're part. Yeah, yeah. I said you, you sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I said that in the beginning. I said sometimes your best isn't enough for the football club. Some because I can get a League One player, he would run his ass off on the pitch, but his quality yeah. is not good enough. So we agree on yeah. this. I'm not. I'm not okay, no, so so, so that, I'm, I'm happy that you said that. Now let's go back to how this whole thing started. <laughs> <laughs> this all started by Lewis showing us mugs, actual mugs. I'm not calling people mugs. Can you show us again, Lewis, the mugs? I'm not calling people mugs. And t-shirt. Oh, yeah, because yeah, yeah, I don't want one, people one. to think I'm calling them mugs. They're actually <laughs> talking about coffee mugs and t-shirts saying, if you sell, what was it again? You, if sell, you sell, they sell Connor, we riot. riot. If, riot. if they sell Connor, we riot. Now, let me tell you something, Mo. Name me a player in City. Liverpool, or even Arsenal, I'm going to put Arsenal up there because they're very technically good right now, that have a player that is, if they sell them, they riot because he runs around and he puts his body on the line and he plays for the batch. Can you tell me uh, a player on each team? Tell me each, uh, every team's Conor Gallagher. I I'm interested to know who the City have no, who's no, a but Conor Gallagher. Sit, but City and so Arsenal are, are head and No, no, but the difference is shit, City and Arsenal, me and you know that. City and 100%. Arsenal are head and shoulders above Chelsea in terms of quality. I agree with you. In terms here's of the quality. Thing. Like, I agree with you. But here's the thing, Mo. We Shouldn't we aspire? And I'm going to say we because me and Lewis are... We're in different muds, but we're in the we mud. We should, of course. We should aspire to be like the three best teams competing for the league this season. 100%. None of yep. these teams have a player that is just praised for running around. Yeah. I have You're McTominay. not have one. Ratchet. That's all he does, run around. No, 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 I'm, not, I'm saying... I'll take on his Are you saying we want to be the top three? Rashford no, no I'm, I'm not saying I out. don't. Rashford is not Conor Gallagher whatsoever. He's definitely... McTominay is. But I'm yeah. saying, when I say we we aspire, I'm saying me and Lewis aspire to be yeah. like the top three. So I'm naming the players on the top three teams this season that don't have a McTominay or a Gallagher that we just sit there and say, oh, well, they, they play for the badge, they run around this, this, and that. You know who runs around for City and plays for the badge? Bernardo Silva. But how uh, elite is Bernardo Silva technically yeah, compared to these players? He, he, and he, Golo he, Kante. Oh, if you want to go back, then yeah, we can talk about and that. The but this players... is day and night, bro, between Golo Kante and Conor Gallagher. No, but, but that's someone who does all the running. But you see how we can look past all that because on the ball, he actually offers you something consistently. Exactly. This is why I will not resort. I mean, I'm, I don't know why I'm saying I because I'm not a part of what's going on in Chelsea. But Lewis shouldn't be resorting to just running around and playing for the badge because Lewis grew up watching quality players. Listen, I watched Park Ji Sung being something like that. We used to call him Three Lung Sung uh, because of that. He he had three lungs. The guy just just ran just ran all over the pitch, but he actually had quality with it. Lewis watched Kante run all over the pitch, but Kante was quality at what he did. We've all had players that, as much as they run and do all that stuff. They're actually good at very at so many other things, and we're not gonna be sitting here making mugs and t-shirts about players that if we if you sell them we riot. Honestly, bro, the 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 the, the standards have dropped off massively. If this is the players you're gonna riot over, City just sold Mares last summer and Gundogan, and they didn't riot. They didn't say, oh, if you sell if you sell Mares we riot. You know. Liverpool just sold money in, in, in the last two seasons. I didn't hear them saying, if you sell money, we riot. So why should we be riot? Because I have the same thing in my fan base. We talk about McTominay every day. I can't go a day without talking about McTominay. Why am I talking about McTominay? Oh, because he, he, he runs a lot. Oh, he's been scoring headers for us. Oh, I didn't know that was an attribute of a DM. I apologize. They yeah, keep scoring goals and do nothing else from the basics. And, the players, and now the people want to give him a new contract. I, I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. No wonder why we're in the mud, bro. Because we were surrounded by mugs. Yeah, now this time I actually meant yep. it. Our fan base is filled with mugs. They shouldn't be selling mugs. Just print that on yourself because you're an absolute mug if you think that. Mm. I'm, feeling a, I'm feeling like buying the mug, though, just in case he leaves. Because <laughs> I'm going to sip that through the whole summer. Just to take the Sam, 
who Where stands in the gap, is. you feel that puta playing North London forever. Get out of it. Get out of it. I thought you were sick. Go have some soup. Yeah, don't be shameless. Exactly. You didn't even deserve to get that flipping video. You didn't even put a super chat. You didn't even put a super chat. Feel that puta, you better put a super chat now. You know. Do you know what I mean? Stressing me out. You know. And I and I wished you to get better. You know what I'm saying? No, <laughs> It's absolute. No, you're not sick. No, you're not sick. You fraud. Yeah. But let me see. <laughs> listen. Let's go into the next song. I think we're all in accordance that Gallagher isn't good enough for Chelsea, where that club needs to be, and where they're going. What are you guys' thoughts? Before I give mine, Ashley Cole getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. Is he a Chelsea legend? Is he an Arsenal legend, or is he both? Let's go. Let's start. Let's start with. Let's start with. Um, Lewis, because I know that Mo wants to rebut whatever anyone says. Let's start with let's start with Lewis first. I mean, like I've seen Arsenal fans talk about his Premier League legacy, and like I, I don't agree that it's only Arsenal. But if they want to say that the majority of his legacy is based off his time at Arsenal, that that's an agenda I'm not going to try and shoot down. Now he t did do a lot of successful things at Chelsea. He's a well. I, I want to lead into a legend discussion, but if you want to talk legacy, like he won two league titles at Arsenal. He was part of the Invincibles at Arsenal, whereas at Chelsea, he won one league title. Like, I understand the argument being placed. That's why I use the same energy for Cesc Fabregas. Whereas he was probably a better player at Arsenal, he won more league titles at Chelsea. So you can argue his Premier League legacy is more focused on his time at Chelsea. The same thing with Ashley Cole for Arsenal. So... I don't mind that argument. I'm not going to be insecure about all of that. That's fine. I know what Ashley Cole did for my football club. I know what he did for you guys too. Now, on the legend discussion, I feel it's a bit shameless Arsenal fans now trying to claim Ashley Cole after cussing him out and abusing him for a whole 18 years. Now you want to try and claim him as one of your own. We remember those chants. Ashley Cole is a Chelsea. I can't say the rest because I want to maintain the monetization. But we know, we know that Lily Allen rejects, brother. I've, I've seen her voice every single time on the timeline when we get close to playing Chelsea versus <laughs> Arsenal. So on the legend thing, like obviously he was a great at Arsenal, but I think also to, to be a legend, you do have to be adored by the fan base. And Ashley Cole straight isn't. So I, I just don't get why their fans are now trying to claim him. You clearly didn't want to claim him since 2006. And like, I'm not even going to talk you down for it. Like, I understand it wasn't a great departure. It wasn't a great exit. It was messy as hell. And he went and joined a rival. Like, I get why you guys don't like him. It's just keep the same energy. Keep the same energy. You didn't like him then. Why are you going to pretend to like him now? Even like two, three days ago, the whole Arsenal fan base <clears> hated him. Now they want to claim him. That don't make any sense to me. But in terms of legacy, if you want to say his legacy, his Premier League legacy is stronger at Arsenal than Chelsea, go for it. I'm not going to argue that down. Mm. Did he only win one, one league at Chelsea? Yeah, yeah. Oh, 9 10. Like when he joined, you mandated the free P, innit? He won Europa with you as well, didn't he? And yeah, Champions Europa, League. Champions League, I think three FA Cups and the Prem. Mm. I, I don't see much wrong in what you just said. I, I, I do think he's an Arsenal legend in the fact of what he's won. <laughs> you know, he, he, won, mm. he won multiple Premier Leagues with us. He won some Cups with us. Technically, he is a legend, but he's not a legend that I really want to think about. You know what I mean? Because he left us. And the thing is, yeah. I wasn't salty when Adi Bayor left us because I could see that my club wasn't moving serious. I wasn't salty when Nazri left us because I could see my club wasn't moving serious. I wasn't salty when Clichy left my club because I could see we wasn't moving serious. Same with Van Persie, same with Fabregas. He left us at a time that was hard. When you look back in hindsight, was it the best move? Yes, it was because Chelsea were the most success more successful club. But at the time that he moved, Arsenal just come off the back of winning the league. So at the time, it's stung because it's like, well, you're leaving us and we're winning. Do you get what I mean? It's a bit different from my perspective because I'm like, well, we're winning. You know what I mean? We're, we're, winning, we're winning major honours. Why are you leaving? But in hindsight, did he do the better thing to, to achieve more trophies? Of course he did. Of course he did. But he went to Chelsea. And for me, that for me, I just don't, I will never, I will never rate him. You know what I mean? I, I rate his ability but I wouldn't want to say he's an Arsenal legend, even though technically he is. 
because he he won the major honours to make him a legend. But the fact that he went and done even more with your club, winning the league, winning Champions League, winning Europa League, doing all of that, and and being a pivotal player in your system and a starting eleven player in your system, I'm never gonna like him in it. It's kind. Of, I'm never gonna. I'm never gonna. I'm never going to look at him fondly. But when we're mm. talking about technically, yes, he is a legend of both clubs. He is a legend of both clubs because he won both major honours. And the requirement for me, for an Arsenal player, ex-Arsenal player to be a legend at my club is winning major honours. And he did that. But at the same time, you went to Chelsea. After that, I just have nothing... It's to the way about. you left as well. Because I think to a point you can go and join a rival, but it is about the way you do it. That's why like Jorginho, I don't mind because we kind of pushed him out and we should have realistically kept him. But when it's a Havertz, you weren't great for us and then you left for the money as soon as you got an opportunity for it. It's kind of similar with you with Ashley Cole, except he was an actual talented player that you guys lost. So I get you guys' a stance. I don't expect Arsenal fans to like Ashley Cole. It's just keep the energy the same. What? Why change? Why change it? Are everybody He's that played, win a league, does everybody that win a league title at Arsenal like is a legend? Is that what? It well, is? he won the Invincibles, Mo. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that's more if anything. <laughs> he won. He won, two, he won two leagues, and he was part of also a team that almost went invincible. You know what I mean? They they oh, was yeah. really close to getting invincible, and they did a cup double. Do you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, like I cannot deny his talent, and I cannot deny what he did for my club. But he gave a lot of his peak years as well to Chelsea. It's not like when we got Peter Cech from Chelsea, where mm. where Chelsea fans could say, "Well, you got him; he was under decline." When we got David uh, David Luiz, it was kind of he was under decline. Do you know what I'm saying? He went to you with peak powers, bro. You know what I mean? And he was pivotal for you lot getting over the line and winning things that we didn't win. So for me, I think it's very it's, it's very simple. It is what it is. Like at the end of the day. It is what it is. And it, it's a different energy because he left when we were winning stuff. You know what I'm saying? I can't begrudge other players when they're looking around. Van Persie, you know, getting to the end of your career. You want to win. You turn around to Arsene Wenger. Who are we going to buy? Oh, we're going to buy kids. Come on, bro. My career's almost up. And he was right on that because he only had one more good season that delivered the trophy for Fergie's last trophy. And he was done. He was on the decline after that. It's harder for me to feel angry at a player like that that gave so many years. Ashley Cole... Different story for me, in my opinion. Different, different story. You know what I mean? That's fair. Um, That's fair. Listen, he won more for Chelsea. He spent more time in Chelsea anyways. Mm. Uh, I know he won two leagues for Arsenal. I, I just checked it now. Two leagues and three FA Cups, including the Invincibles. But he did three win. FA Cups? Bro. Yeah. You have more FA Cups. He has more FA Cups with you guys. So he has one league, which is surprising. I didn't even know he only won one league at that time. Uh, but one yeah, league. That was you, man. One, <laughs> really the reason why because of that 3p um but uh what's it called one uh one europa league one champions league four fa cups and a league cup so and he spent more time in chelsea i think it, his, his he stayed in his peak more in chelsea in my opinion mm. so i think he's more of a chelsea legend and in the way that he left to join the rivals i think he automatically becomes yeah. a chelsea legend more but as, as you guys said 100 percent. Why, why are they claiming him now because I because know you don't have enough. Because you don't have enough. That's the difference. So you don't have a lot. <laughs> this guy oh started already. God. Look at this really that put that So you're saying Arsenal don't have enough players yeah, yeah. get behind. Isn't that isn't that the, isn't that the, the reality? Okay. What do you mean? How is that not how, how is that the reality? Okay, so Chelsea, during that period, he's at Chelsea. There are tons. There is the Makalelis, there is the Lampard, there is the drug buzz. You know what I mean? There is like plenty of them. And during the time as well, there is Kanti after that. You know what I mean? They have they have like in the recent history. I'm not. I'm not talking about the, the, the ancient history or before the Abramovich era. Really? There is no. There is no comparison between the two clubs, right? In terms of history, just put that out there. But I'm talking about the, the new generation. The new generation. They only can hold on to the invincibles, Patrick Vieira and and the and Thierry Henry, of course. So oh, okay. they need a left back, right, to hold on to to say, oh, this guy won two league titles. That's what they have. They haven't won for 20 years. So who are they going to hang on to? Like, who are they going to say? Uh, who are they going to say? Uh, Kuchelny? Or who, who are they going to say? As the Klichy. Left or the Klichy as well, like Gael Klichy. Gael Klichy haven't won anything with Arsenal, actually. Some FA Cups, if you consider that major honours. My point is they have to now. He's a Hall of Famer now. Yes, he's a legend. Two months ago, it was the traitor, Ashley Cole. Just two months ago. a week ago. Bro, 
Hall of Famer Ashley Cole won the Invincible with us. A week ago, the traitor Ashley Cole who left us. It's reality. Arsenal in recent history don't have a lot to clinch into. Don't have a lot. People think it's banter. Wait. It's not. It's not. It's what frightens me mm. about the next 20 years, bro. <laughs> like, now you don't need to pattern up and uh, pass, but I can't see that's my future. No, no, to we had, at you, the inter, at the, we had the same. And you know, we had the same. Tell you, yeah, to get behind the team. Don't 20 years le- uh, twenty years from now, I'll be still thinking about Eden Hazard and the good old days. 20 years Listen. from now, Eden Hazard. <laughs> That's Look at the way this guy, bro. Bro, you don't have the right to laugh, bro. You don't have the do. right to laugh. You know why I do? Time. Because I've been there. Because we had 10 years of, we won the treble next year. We won the treble the year before. We won the treble <laughs> three years before. We won the treble four years before. We kept saying the same until it became 10 years without us winning anything. Anything. Right? It became, we won the treble 10 years ago. We, we've been there. We spent All every night praying there. that your rivals don't win it. Exactly. We, we, every, every so every please season. don't let Arsenal win that UCL. Please. Juventus went to the Champions League final twice. They won the league. We're like, I hope they lose. If they win a treble, it's the <laughs> end of everything. It's the end of everything. Madrid and Barca and fans they, in both yeah, finals. Like it's, it's the end of everything. It's the end of the history of Inter. We've been there. So I have the right to laugh, bro. I've been there. Bro, we're no, clinging no. to players from 2006, bro. Legends. 2007, legends. Adriano. Mm. It's that. It's the reality, bro. It's been there. Lewis Remember, when been there Remember when you had Nagatomo? Remember when you had Nagatomo? Exactly. And people were praising that. Oh my God. Oh my God. Bro. Nagatomo. And what's the other guy's name? Bibiani? Was that uh, his name? Yeah, oh, yeah. Bibiani. Bibiani. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> We the bought the era and everything. Before that, bro, we bought I, we bought Guarin, forty million from Porto, and he was banging goals. Mediocre after mediocre after mediocre player, bro. Oh, we've been there. We all been there. Staffy, Ranocchia, eh? Ranocchia. And the funny Ranocchia thing, when you, when you and Staffy say that you've been there, I've been there for double the amount of years, and both your clubs have done uh, trebles, and mine hasn't. So when you, you talk know, about you know, your pain, my pain is different. Yeah, your pain is been different, there. to be honest, yeah. At least you've been there. At least you've got the memory. Treble, Champions League, I haven't. Yeah, I'm called I was, toxic. No, I was, I was, I was, I was 26 years old. I was like full on, like grown up, grown ass man when that happened, the treble. So uh, thankfully, all we have is our memories, man. Well, let me so ask remember, you, I was in Porto uh, crying like a baby. So it makes a lot of sense off. about Ashley Cole then. Why Arsenal fans are saying Ashley Cole is a legend? Because they're Patrick Vieira in the Hall of Fame. I think yeah, Henri. Henri in the Hall of Fame. So these are the two. So I can say Patrick Vieira, to be honest, is a true guy. Like the guy won three league titles with Arsenal. He's kind of someone who he was their seen captain. as a captain. Exactly. Thierry Henry. Arguably the best player to ever play in the in the modern era of the Premier League. You know what I mean? Actually, Cole as a left back. If if I have a player that had most of his career at, at a rival club, I wouldn't call him my legend. I would, not, I would definitely not claim as a legend. It's the same as Arsenal fans claiming they have Champions League winners. In I was gonna say United fans started to disclaim Schmeichel because of it, because he ended up going to City after that. I'm yeah, but that more. was the end I'm of the career. The next check. time I'm angry, yeah? The next time I'm angry, I'm clipping this, Mo. Next time yeah. I'm angry, and you're doing the devil's advocate thing, I said, Filo da puta, look at this video. Look at what you said. You you literally backing me exactly why I get angry. I'm not. <laughs> that was yeah? You just do. basically exactly said... Why. Wait, wait, you, you basically just said... I don't know where you are. Angry. Huh? You, we're not turning this into an Arsenal thing, but you know why where not? you Let's are now... It. Let's I know that. that you're talking about standards. You know where you are now. That's what you have to realize. It's like Manchester United fan telling me that, by the way, if we don't win the league next year, I'm done. You they should be know. done. No. See? We're they not going to turn done. this they... into the argument. We're no, not. no, no. But they, they should be because that is that is they are the biggest club in England. So they should be having that standard. They that should be right. my standard. But most trying to say logically. Of course, logically, I can't say we'll win. Logically. Bro, yeah. look how angry he was, yeah? When, when his team was in the Champions League. What right do they have to win the Champions League? When's the last time they won it? So technically, he has no right to be angry. Why are you angry in a watch? I'm angry about a game. No. And why are you angry about Turam? I thought Turam runs around a lot. 
So why, Turam why, why is we fantastic. not? You know, Turam is the starting forward for France. He had an off game that game. They got the pressure got to them, bro. Same. Huh? The pressure got to them. Yeah, but you have to understand where you are. You're not European giants like he was before. This is not trouble winning. We are not. Him. No, but no, no. So why are you so angry? No, are Atletico Madrid. I know. Well, that his owners. By the way, same. We are the Atletico Madrid are Inter are kind of. We're not the same in terms of, of history. We have way bigger history. But a recent right. times, Atletico Madrid has been in latter stages of the Champions League more than us. Right? Okay, so why are you angry? Way you wasn't than... expected to win it. Because uh, we were the better the team, bro. Because we were the better team. So yeah, but football doesn't work like that, bro. We are like the that, better yeah. team this season. and we are. Okay, no, hold on. We are the better team this season. Okay. To use Staffy's argument, if you ask any Arsenal fan, are you better than City? They tell you no. But if you ask me, are we better than Atletico Madrid? Yes. So we should have won that game. So we failed, we bottled it, and we had 2 0 lead. Same as Arsenal fans last year. Everyone had the right to be upset when you had seven points last year. I will never, I said that last year is a bottle job. Seven points ahead, it's a bottle job. Right? That's, that's, a, that's exactly the same argument. We had 2 0 lead, bro. Yeah, and but by your to argument to me, league. by your argument to me, when I'm angry and my club doesn't get over the line in the Champions League, you tell me that this is this is not what the Arsenal mean? that I used to support. The standards are different. Your club... You're, talk, you're talking about the league. Get, you're talking even, about the league. Hold, the hold league. on. Let me, let me land my point. Let me land my point. Even if you beat Atleti, your team is not good enough to win the Champions League in the first place. So it's irrelevant. You should be, like you say to me, you should know where you're at. You're not good enough to win the Champions League. So why are you so angry? No, but I fancy my chances to go because I was playing some of the best football in Europe. Okay, so when I fancy my chances, don't talking. tell me that, that my club is yeah, now... Fancy your chances is fine, but you don't have experience. We reached the final last year, bro. What experience what is your, what you on is about? your team got? We reached the final Man, last year, bro. More, what more, experience more, has the Inter Milan players I am not. Of winning the Champions go League? Ahead, go ahead. Let me tell, tell you why you're changing the goalpost on Yes, tell me so Okay, because before you went to the final last year, we could have made the argument you don't have experience, so we shouldn't expect you to be in the final. But because you made the final once, all of a sudden you have all the experience and now you expect it to go again. That's let me, not let true. Me, let me rebuttal on that. The year okay, before, no. we went out to Liverpool in the round of 16, being the only team in that calendar year to beat Liverpool at their ground. You know that. 2 0, and we won 1 0 at Anfield. And we, they had to, the referee had to give one of our players a record for a second yellow for a no touch foul on Alexis Sanchez for us to get beat and get knocked out. And the year before, we're in the group stage. So it's progression. Last, you know, but you, uh, go, but go ahead, finish. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Line, line, which is I, you, I, I, which I get you. you it's not going to be... We don't, we're not Your saying round the 16, it, round quarter final. We're not but you've never that. got it over the line. So why is your expectation to get it over the line? You shouldn't be angry then. You tell me that this Arsenal, which I agree with you, that this Arsenal team has never got it over the line. So I shouldn't have the expectation because my current team has not got the experience to get it over the line Premier League. Yours hasn't in the Champions League. So why were you angry? No, but we did. What do you mean? It's not all about the finish line. What Man City, it's a progression role. We qualified for the Champions League four years ago, five years ago. We got knocked out. And then we went to the round of 16. We arguably got beat by one of the best teams in the tournament, beating them at their home ground. And now this season, we got new players and we're playing some of the best football. So I'm expecting not maybe not to win the Champions League, but at least... And, the year, and by the way, the year before, we went to the final. And we lost to arguably one of the best teams to ever play. Uh, football in the recent era, mm -hmm. and now so mm -hmm. I'm expecting this year progression. No, sir, progression. and I'm expecting progression. And the only progression from second is first, so I'm expecting oh, my yeah, team yeah. to win. By the same logic, you can't tell me I shouldn't be having that expectation in my club. You're talking about expectation. No, so I see progression. So I can actually I can change progression to last season in game week 30 or 32. You were out of the title race. I'm gonna tell you when do you say you failed? You say you failed. When we see you losing to City, I'm going to give you a scenario now. You lose to City next Sunday. Is it Sunday? Sunday. And then you fall yeah, off. Sunday. And then you fall off. And then within two game weeks, you're out of the title race. You're six points behind. For example, I'm just giving you an example. And that, by the way, that's a very so plausible next, situation. Okay. That It can happen, actually. This can happen. And you lose to Bayern Munich. That could be a failure season because that's called regression. L However, Luton and Brighton, to be fair, after City. Brighton can be a, they can drop points at Brighton if they lose their heads. Brighton haven't lost since September at home. You know that. We all know this. Brighton mm, haven't lost again. Yeah, defensively September. they're not great, but I hear that point. So so and especially after if they lose to City and they lose their heads and everybody yeah. starts not focusing, 
They can be yeah. out of the tight race completely, six points or seven points behind Liverpool within two weeks. That is when you say, Arteta, you regressed. You should be out. That is when you say that. But if you stay until the last game and you finish one point within one point, or you win it or you don't win it, now it's going to small details. I'm not going to call that regression, no son. I'm if it was into that... Milan, you would. Let's do the watch along if your club is in that situation. No, I think you'd be wouldn't. angry, Mark. I would be yeah. angry, but I wouldn't call it regression. I would be angry, but I wouldn't call it regression. I promise. If it's, you then why would you be angry? You're angry because it's failure. No, angry because I wanted to win. There's a difference, no side, between calling it a failure and being angry. You can be angry for something, but you still did I your would best be and you still call it progression. I'm, I'm never gonna ask you. I'm never ask you to do anything, right? But you can be angry because you wanted to win. But there's a mm. difference in labeling something a failure is different than being angry for not winning. Let me give you an example. Some guy can be the, the guy that is not as fast as the top guy. And then he's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him and he loses by one yard or one what a part of a second at the end. He should be angry that he didn't win it, but don't call himself a failure. It is because, a failure though. Right. Because if, if it's not about failing, then why do we have then why do we reward winners? Why do winners get rewards? Reward for winning. That's why I call progression. Why, is it, why, so next is it, why year... is it first place? Why do you have medals? Why do you have trophies? Because that is to reward the winner. So if there is a winner in something, that means everybody yeah. else is a loser. There's other things yeah, you can do. I agree. The word losing, you don't, you don't get by the way, North side, the word losing is different than a failure. The word lose. by the way, Brighton. I don't but, care. By the way, Both but, of them but, means by I'm the way, no, by the way, Brighton. Are losers in the league. They are losers because they're, done, they're not winning the leagues. But is their season a failure, for example, if they qualify for Europa League? No. It is so there is a difference. Yeah. No side. It there is, is a difference term. between loser and a failure. Right? It's the same thing. Mm. No. I'd no, say with Brighton, the standards are lower as well. So they're, like, they're looking exactly. at different So lines. it's all about the standards, Lewis. It's all no, about but he's talking about qualifying for Europe. Qualifying for Europe only gains you monetary gains and an entry into a competition. It doesn't give you no trophies. And the metric that we judge all our teams is, is trophies. When you've spoken about Arsenal and Inter, Mo, you've always mentioned trophies. And you have mentioned to me Champions Leagues. Why? Because that's the measurement of success. Yes. So if you're going to use it in an argument to say my club is bigger than yours, that is the measurement. Otherwise, why are you bringing it up in a conversation about who's But that's the thing. We're you? looking at clubs at a different level. Like Inter and Arsenal, they're operating at a higher level than a Brighton. So they are actually looking at trophies. Whereas a Brighton, I don't think... They're not necessarily looking at it. They're looking more at maintaining their can team. We, can we get Staffy on for, for a question? Simple question to actually to actually, actually get everything in line. If your team right. next season, Staffy... Pay with Ten Hag or hire a new coach, and you get new players, and you challenge for the league until the end, and you still lose it. My analysis, and let me know if I'm wrong or right, that you are a loser because you lost the league as a club. Well, there's 19 losers, oh. yeah. But by, by, by definition. but the season is a progression. Is that 100%. right? Yeah, that's yeah, it. okay. That's so, that so, so my point. Yeah, let me say something on this failure. Listen, when you use the word fail. Fail means you fail. You fail to reach your goal. Now, yes. I don't think everyone goes into the season. Their goal is to win the league, because most of these clubs don't care enough to win the league. They yes. just want to. I agree with Northside. They 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 just want to get the monetary value of being in a European competition or a top six or a top four and call it a day. I agree with you. But when you you put it to United, I I think listen. Let me tell you something. I think every year United didn't win the league since Sir Alex left has been a failure. Because we were that good of a team. Obviously, when you add the context, I couldn't tell you that we should have won every year. I'm just saying the drop-off since has made us a failure of a club because of how high we were and how low we are right now. Going from this season to next season, though, if you told me we're going to compete next year, and let's say we fall short, we fall second or third, I will say that's a progression because, number one, we haven't competed for a league in a while because we haven't been good enough to compete for a league for a while. So for us to compete for the league next season, it means something drastically has changed. It means Ten Hag ended up all of a sudden being the best, the second best manager in the league after after Pep, because Klopp obviously is leaving. So that means he's done that. Maybe Rashford went on and the form of his life and scored thirty goals in the league. Maybe Onana all of a sudden has turned into prime uh, Peter Cech. You know, maybe our midfielders have all of a sudden became competent midfielders. Something drastically has to change. So something, of, of course, progressed because we're sitting in sixth right now. But to Northside's uh, point, failure and losing. Yes, I do agree with their different things. 
I just think everyone is a loser if you don't win the league. But you're a failure based on what your objectives are. Yeah. The reason I don't want to include a Brighton is because I don't think Brighton... Listen, I understand what Lee says when he speaks about Brighton. He says they just never care enough to compete and we get into the monetary talks and all that. A team like Brighton, I think they go into the season saying, listen, we want to raise this much from shirt sales this season. We signed this, that's that, and pl- that player. Our goal is to maybe have them progress and have them have higher value going into next summer when we sell them again. And hopefully we can get a top six finish or a top seven finish so we can go on to Europe and get money from the Conference League or the Europa League. If they get that, to them, that season is a, is a success. But is it a success in someone's eye like me or Northside? No, because we're going to look at them and we're like, oh, okay, good season for them. But they're never going to be a league winner. They're never going to be a, a Champions League winner or a European Cup winner. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's Sam's season last season? Actually, that's the perfect example. I don't think their goal going into the season was to win a trophy. But they won a trophy. So were they losers the last seasons? Of course not. They were winners because they won a competition that we're in. And we're always going to remember that. I'm, I'm going to tell you this. In a few years, we're going to be like, remember that one season West Ham won the conference uh, uh, conference league? We're not going to be like, remember that one season Brighton finishing the Europa League? No one's going to remember that. I'm, a, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. We forget these things as time moves on. I couldn't tell you who finished in the top four or the top six about eight years ago. Remember I remember really Southampton won the Europa League. Well, there you go. Mm. There you go. I, I wanted to ask Lewis, then I'm going to go to Mo. Um... Bayern Munich, yeah? Do you, do you think, Lewis, that Bayern Munich are playing mind games of Arsenal? We heard first that Harry Kane might be a miss for Arsenal's first leg in the Champions League against Bayern Munich. Um, and now we're hearing Neuer. Apparently, he has pulled out of international duty for the, for the German friendlies due to a torn muscle fibre. Do you think they're playing mind games? Um, or do you think... Um, do you think they're genuinely injured? Do you think it doesn't affect Arsenal's chances of beating Bayern Munich? What, what's your thoughts on, on, on that news, Lewis? And then Mel, and then Staffy. See, it's all a, it's a bit speculative for now. Only because there's another two weeks, I'm guessing, from the looks of things before your game. So it depends on how much game time they get. Like, we'll see if they're talking nonsense or if there's actually some depth to this after the international break. If they don't if they don't start their next two games, then maybe. Like, that would be a little bit more help for you guys because I think Neuer's having a really good season. Harry Kane, obviously, is bagging goals left, right, and centre, even if there is the questions about, oh, he's left and they're going to go trophyless and everything like that. But it'll be big losses for them. And I already had you guys down to narrowly win the first leg anyway, in spite of it, just because I think... Your team's going to be up for it. The fans are going to be up for it. I'd expect you to be defensively solid. It's just who bags, if anything. Like I can't really tell you who would score. But I did have you down for a narrow win in the first leg, and I do think that would go a lot. Uh, that would go a lot higher up in my estimations. But this is a bit too early. Like I, I can't really tell. Like I know Neuer's out with some groin strain, but I've heard mm. that's a bit serious. Harry Kane had a knock after his last game. He bagged a hat trick. That one's got a bit more of a question mark on. If you ask me right now, I think Kane would probably make it back. But even then, it's, it's, just, it's way too early to tell. Way too early to tell. You have to see what happens in the next two games. Mm. Brian Kane is no. already training in the pic- with the ball today. Is yeah, he already? The, the pictures are already there. And the, the German national team already, people are saying, why? The, uh, sorry, the uh, the England national team, some of them are saying, why did you pull out the, the, the Belgium game then if you're training with the ball today? Pictures are ready. Bayern Munich released a picture today. You can look it up. Uh, I think no, Harry Kane is going to be that. fine. <laughs> I think Harry Kane is going to be fine. All right. More power to Kane. <laughs> we need that. Uh, Manuel Neuer. Well, uh, I don't think Manuel Neuer has been the same. I think within two weeks, Manuel Neuer is going to be in goal. Listen, Northside. I'm not sure if you're going to win this tie, to be honest. No, I don't know. It's, what? It's gonna After be- you've backed Super Mikata at all <laughs> This guy, I can't believe it. I don't know I why do you say I back Mikel Arteta. I don't get it. Because every time I say that I'm not convinced by certain things, you I always get pushback from you. Because uh, because actually you're presenting some arguments that are very extreme. Is it like extreme? For, like okay, me, me, me saying, saying me argument. saying, me saying that Thomas right. Tuchel. Oh, no, this is my argument. It's very simple. Me no, saying no, that no. Thomas Tuchel is way more experienced than Mikel Arteta in the Champions League. One one reached the final with Paris Saint Germain, right? And played multiple knockout stages with Chelsea. Number two, he actually is a very, very good cup manager. 
Very simple. Leeds two finals with Chelsea lost both on penalties. They didn't lose to Liverpool in one of the best Liverpool teams we have seen over the past 30 years, right? That quad Liverpool, right? Uh, they have way more experienced player in this competition that actually not only played in it, but actually won it, right? With Kimmich, Goretzka's, Noyers, Alfonso Davis, Thomas Muller, blah, 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 Serge Gnabry, all these yeah. people. The second leg is in their ground. So that gives him an automatic advantage to go into the Allianz Arena, right? Mm. All of these factors now goes to your team. Your manager probably is his first game ever against a top European giant in the Champions League, ever. In the Champions League knockout stages. Your players already played underwhelming game against Porto because Porto sh doing the shit house everything. So Bayern Munich is going to be even more in terms of not shit house, in terms of game management. Bayern Munich know how to manage the games, right? In the Champions League. So these are all the arguments that say that it tips the scale in favor of Bayern. Even though you look like on paper and on the eye are the better team because Bayern Munich are 10 points behind the league leaders. But there are many, yeah. many other factors to be considered here in the Champions League. It's not just straightforward. This team is better than this one. This team will win. That's it. I, I actually don't agree, disagree with anything you just said. Now, when I've put arguments to you, yeah, now that you know that I actually agree with what you've just said, when I say to you that the bench is light, you tell me, yes, but this, but that. When I tell you I'm not so convinced because another weakness that we had last season that we didn't get a striker, oh, but Kai Havertz is coming in clutch. I it never said that. I actually don't like Kai Havertz. What, what, what are you talking about? I actually said, what are you talking about? You push back on you it. You are a football fan, day. to be fair, I understand. What are you saying? Serious? I I am, I am some of those Kai Havertz haters, bro. I ran streams, I ran streams for two hours hating on Kai Havertz. Two hours. You don't like Kai Havertz. You don't like Kai Havertz, but you like, you like this manager. Well, you defend him like you like him. I defend him, but I hear your point. And I agree with what you're saying about Bayern Munich, because I said, against Porto, we didn't beat them in 90 minutes. Over two legs, we wasn't convincing. We didn't have a, a, a convincing way of playing football to break them down consistently. And that is against a Porto team that player for player are weaker than a team like Atleti or Bayern. We also got a novice that's been eliminated in Europe by Olympiacos, Villarreal, all t sporting Lisbon, teams like this. Yeah, so this is why when I say to you, I push back on a, a, a lot of what p other people say about Mikel Arteta, I'm not always convinced. He's got a bench he can't use. He's got no clinical goal scorers and he only plays one system. And when our system is nullified, I don't see anything from him. When people are telling me, oh, we can score from set pieces, in the first leg against Porto, we had, what, three, four corners? And 11 corners or something like that. Oh, exactly. And how many did we score from? And yeah. I said, I remember saying on your channel, we will not consistently score corners to, keep, to win the major honours. That is not a consistent way. And then how but did we get through against Porto? Penalties which is something that is very 50-50, which your team experienced. But that's why it's I said the league system. is completely different than the Champions League. I've been very consistent. It's a different sport, but bro. Let me ask but you guys something, different. though. Let it's me ask you guys something. Wouldn't, it, wouldn't the game be different against Bayern? Because I think Bayern are a much superior team to Porto. I think they'll approach the game differently. They won't try to park the bus like Porto did. and They will, they will come at, at Arsenal. Doesn't that play in their, in their favor a little bit more? What did you think? But didn't they change the way they, they played against Spy Leverkusen? So Tuchel is able to ad ad adapt. Even though they lost, yeah. they did lose. But he has the willingness to change his formation and his system depending on the opposition. No, but if that's not my point, Northside. My point is they're going to come at you guys more than Porto did. So it's going to be more of an open game. Yeah. Wouldn't you fancy... Okay, let me, let me ask this in a better way. Would you fancy your team more against this Bayern team in an open game where basically I'm trying to say is no one is just I trying think, to yeah. sit back and and, and, and absorb pressure. They're going coming at you guys. You guys are going at them. Would you, you fancy your team on the day or not? Yes. If they open up, I fancy us. I fancy our chances if they let us play our football. Yes. How about you? I do. Yeah, but I, I think they are not uh, naive though. I don't think they're going to do this at the Emirates. Um, I, I think, think he parks gonna, the bus in the Emirates. Not park the bus, but not be... You know, like Liverpool played Man City, you know the game? It's not nobody's parking the bus, but when you don't have the ball, you drop a little bit deeper. You get the ball, you try to move forward. That's the point. 
Like, I don't think it's going to be park the bus and wait for... I think it's going to be... But I think Arsenal will have the upper hand in the first game anyway. Because it's at the Emirates, though. I'm surprised we're talking about the Bayern game, but not the big game of the weekend. Because that's probably the game we should have been talking about. I spoke about that with uh, with Mo, but if you want to touch on it, feel free. Okay, so let me know what you guys talked about. Did you speak about it with me? I spoke about it with... uh, Sorry, with uh, Hamza. Sorry, with Hamza. Um, Yeah, but Hamza's a fraud, so that's different. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I spoke to you about the 94-95 season or some BS yeah did he tell you about when Arsenal bottled the Europa League and stuff like that I'm, I'm sure he did did he mention that <laughs> Listen, or did he I, I, I'm going to quickly quickly say my opinion and then let you guys have, have your say um, for me it's hard to call because have we beaten Man City yes we have but the problem is have we got the mentality now that it's every game is a must win this is normally when Arsenal fall short this is normally when Arsenal mentally fall short of expectation and getting over the line. We're now facing them in a game which could be very pivotal, will be very pivotal to who wins the league. Have we got the bottle? Have we got the bottle? Because we didn't have it last season. And that is, the, that is the big thing. Do we know how to beat them? Yes, we do. We've beaten them already this season. We do have the know-how to beat them. But they're still Man City. They're still the remaining holders of the Premier League. They're still the treble winners. They still got a better manager. They still got world class players, and we don't have any. So it's hard to call. Can we? Yes. Will we? I don't know. Because I question a lot. Not only the bench and the striker. I question the mentality of this club. Because for the last twenty years, I've not seen us mentally be able to get over the line when it's crunch time. Now, who wants to go first? Hi. Right, it's 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 D Day for Arsenal. That's what it is. Will you guys come of age or not? Because you guys fumbled the title there last season. Now you're facing what you could argue is a weaker City side, although still dangerous. You guys are coming in with a, with a lot more momentum. You've been banging in goals left, right and centre the last few months. Now we need to see what that counts for. It's another game that's a lot more harder to predict because City are j- just have an air of inevitability about them. Even if they don't start the game well, they could easily turn things around in the second half. If Haaland is switched on, could be bagging two, three, four goals in that game. But I'm not going to say it's a foregone conclusion that he bags in the game either because he's not really been at that level over the last few weeks. So quietly, I'm not going to say you're playing them at the right time. I don't ever think there's a right time to play Manchester City, but... This one, you could argue, is a bit better. You could argue it's a little bit better. You're in a confident position there. there in a slightly confident position. I say slightly. But going to the Etihad's no easy task. Like I think you go there and you give them a game. You don't get battered 4-1. But I could see a 2-1. I could see a little 1-0 or something. I could see this being a very tight game. But... I don't know. I've seen Arsenal fall at the final hurdle so many times. I, I can't put them down to win this one. I just think the odds are a little bit better than it was last season. Other than that, I can't say too much more about Arsenal. PTSD. Oh. If our starting eleven doesn't get it over the line, who on the bench? Tell me who on the bench is going to win it for us. Because he didn't trust our bench. Hey, Eddie. Ha, <laughs> that feel of that ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's coming off. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's going to save the A, a, a yearly Reese Nelson thing. banger. I hear it. Mo, you're going to say something? No, like, like you have at least, it's not about the bench though. It's about, to be honest, him realizing that I can't go to the Etihad and play the same game as he did last season. He was very naive and left Haaland isolated with Rob Holding and William Saliba. He needs to adjust like he did against Liverpool though. You saw him against Liverpool, didn't go full guns blazing for 90 minutes. So that's what he needs to realize. And he needs to realize that Man City can hurt you on the transition as much as they can hurt you on the ball position. So he needs to, and he's learning though. Uh, but I think that game being at the Etihad, I think you definitely have about 20% chance of winning the game. You can draw the game. If you win the game, 20. I'll be surprised. 20, yeah. 20? Just 20? Of course. After all right. that, and explain yeah. why. Wait, wait, can you explain why it's 20? Because they're playing at the Etihad. Man City haven't lost a game at the Etihad since I think they lost to Brentford in some 2022 December or something like this. So that by its listen, I have the same energy for everybody with the top three. I said the only team that I did I didn't 
I said Liverpool and Arsenal. I said Liverpool might get a result at Arsenal, but Arsenal proved me wrong. But when Man City went to Liverpool, even though Liverpool had injuries, I said Man City shouldn't win the game. Liverpool are still favourites. I believe that Arsenal, they, they can win the game. But the fact that it's... A, I think a lot of people, a lot of pundits and a lot of YouTubers, when they speak about this game, they kind of fail to mention that it's a Etihad, that it's a way. It's at the ground that they haven't lost for ages, right? People just forget that all the time and just keep mentioning as it's it's played on a neutral ground. It's not. It's played at Man City ground. So by itself, that gives him an extra 20% because it's it's the same as the Emirates. If Man City were going to the Emirates now, we'll say your favorite because it's at your ground. But yeah, no one really takes the Etihad as a... For some reason, why? I don't know why. Even though Man City don't lose at the Etihad. Yeah, but it's it's I I don't think on a big occasion anyone goes to that and I'm like I'm so worried because of the atmosphere. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like if it's Enfield, it's different. If it's uh, uh Old Trafford, is different. You know, if it's why? the Emirates. Why? Why do you say that? Just, but the I... data that the data doesn't back that. Yeah, the you know what it is. The thing is though, Mo, like you th lose such a... at Old Trafford, they don't. At the no, no, no. I hear you. I'm talking about a big occasion though. So the thing is, I think City are a very good team, and obviously it reflects it in their record. So I'm not going to dismiss that. But on a big night, because that game is going to be the last game of the weekend, I don't think I if I'm if I'm playing for Arsenal, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not going to the Etihad, and I'm so worried about their fan base. I'm really not. Like I don't feel like them being at home plays a big factor. You know what I'm saying? I think they win a lot at home because they're a very good team. But I don't think they went at home because they, they, their atmosphere is intimidating. I really don't think so. I've never heard anyone talk about being intimidated when they go to City. This is why you go to Liverpool, and then you lose. Because Liverpool don't need to be at their best. But the minute you're in Anfield, the crowd sucks you I in. I Madrid did. Just, just Madrid, I feel like Madrid, because they were on such a high, the fans really felt like, yo, we're about to win something. The atmosphere that day, don't get me wrong. The, the atmosphere like, that what about, my Kofi, experience of going the to the Etihad, guy. in terms of the big six atmospheres, I genuinely think they're the best I've seen. And I put them up with Anfield as well. City, when they want to be, they can be so loud. So I wouldn't be surprised if it does play a factor. I've been to the Etihad, by the way. They Listen, were 1-0 nil, got... nil down, and it was loud. But I don't think, Stuffy, there is one more thing about football that it's not only about the atmosphere. It's the ground. It's the grass. It's the size of the pitch. People They'll don't be realize... comfortable at home. Yeah, yeah. They'll be comfortable. They remember, they remember Highbury or not? No, sorry. They remember why yeah, teams struggled at Highbury. The good days. The good days when I was happy. Why, 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 did, why did people struggle at <laughs> Highbury and Arsenal? Why did people struggle at Highbury? Because we had a proper team and a proper manager. But also the pitch as well. But the pitch as well. That's people like don't realize... Place. People don't... I think... I th Listen, I played football a lot. When you go to play a team at home, they know they're... Their pitch, it's it's automatically, automatically you are the team that is behind, especially for two big teams. For two mm. big teams. Mm. Listen, um, before I get you two's prediction, um, Lewis, I know Lewis has got a goal. You flipping GPS grand puta safadas, go like and subscribe to Staffy TV. Go subscribe to Judge Mo and Carefree Lewis. Links are in the description. I know Lewis, you got a goal. Big up to you, bro. Love for the redirect every single big time. Big up, man. Every time. You already know what it is. Staffy, Mo, big up. Great to chop it up as always. Appreciate both of you. Northside, appreciate you. And yeah, everyone, hit the sub. Hit the like button. Bell notification. Follow everybody. And big up, my guys. Love. Take care, everybody. Love, Bless. Love, love, my G. Um, listen, let's go to you first, Mo. Yeah. Your prediction. Before we wrap up, your prediction. Who do you Four. have winning in order, first to third, what do you think the order is going to be? Who's winning the league and who's going 90 to points, Liverpool, 89, uh, Arsenal, 89, Man City. I already did why, a prediction show. For why Liverpool? Me. Why Liverpool? Liverpool have the easiest fixture list and yep. um, they might drop four points. You might drop five. Man City will drop four. Okay. Staffy? <laughs> Listen, Mo sounds like he did too much studies. I feel like Mo went it's to It's not lab. that. I did like three shows where I had the whole games in front of me and we actually spoke about which team. Mo was in the game. lab, bro. That's what he did. Mo got him, put his uh, his white coat on. And he went into the lab. You know, he put do not disturb outside. 
every time his wife came with food or drinks, he's like, no, 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 not right now. I'm doing the predictions. And he's come up to that conclusion. And I feel like he knows what he's talking about. That's why I'm going to go against him. <laughs> I'm going to go against it. I'm going to say Arsenal are going to win it. Because I think Arsenal, listen, I think Arsenal are going to beat City in the Emirate, uh, Emirates, wow. uh, in the Etihad. And I think when they beat, uh, beat them in the Etihad, I think they'll be unstoppable from there. Yeah, yeah, I don't I, think if, if they beat them, yes, but I don't that's that's that. too much of a high to not win the league. They'll, they'll well, be like, cruising. Well, well, what have we? Seen but if they before? lose, then everything have, I say is gone. Where have we seen that before? Arsenal being on a height, and everybody said they're not gonna. But lose they didn't it. beat I mean, City yeah. last year, Mo. They did it. Yeah. That's this time. This one's gonna be different. Remember, I told you earlier in the season. You said you don't always have to beat your rival to win the league, and I agree with you because we used to do that. I remember yeah. Sir Alex's oh, last God, season. Yeah. We lost home and away to City, and we still won the league. And I agree with you. But you know what? That team was too confident. That team still mm -hmm. had enough history to, that they know, even though we didn't beat them. Because we didn't, we didn't used to always beat Chelsea, and we used to win the league. Staffy, how are you comparing Chelsea. that, though, Staffy? You just said we had the history. You had players that have been there, done that. We had Sir Alex what. Ferguson, and you, you got what. over the line. None of the things you just mentioned, my club possesses. But that's why he's dead. That's, that's why, why I said you need you must to win City. City. That's, that's why I'm he's saying dead. you can't get away with winning the league without beating City. You already beat them once, and it was at home. But I think if you beat them at way, that one's going to be different. I don't think you have enough in you to lose the City and then go in the league. I think if you lose the City, it's over. I think you guys are going to be on a down. I don't trust this team to bounce back. I've seen them down tools more than actually bounce back from defeats and, and rise to the occasion. You know, that's why they call them bottle jobs. Mo, I you, think you, you need a City win to win this league. I agree with you. I think if Arsenal Mo, draw the game, I think if Arsenal draw the game, I think you have a, very, a good chance of winning the league. If you just get a point. Very good chance. I still have City winning. Um, the league? I, I think the fact that Klopp is leaving and the fact that Liverpool were able to be resilient, even when they had so many players out, speaks volumes about their mentality. And and what they they want to do, I, I still don't think they get over the line. I think they come second, and I, and I got Arsenal third. Um, yeah, j j I, maybe I, I probably would have had Arsenal. There's one second. more problem. There is one more problem that happened this morning is that the new schedule came out, Go on. and they they screwed up Arsenal and Liverpool. Your run is impossible. You you there are games in April. It's impossible for you, and if you reach the semi final of the Champions League, it's even worse. Liverpool, the same. They put the Merseyside derby in the middle where they have to play Thursday, Sunday, Tuesday, Sunday, Tuesday. Sorry, Thursday again. It, it's absolutely atrocious. They actually screwed Arsenal and and if Arsenal and Liverpool. Listen, I'm not going with the narrative that they screwed Arsenal. We should have enough to be able to deal with that at the end of the day. But um, yeah, like, like, Listen, I agree with Mo in the sense that I don't see Arsenal winning it. And I'm here to be proven wrong. And I hope to God I am wrong. I hope to God Staffy is correct. But I just don't see it. I see a Liverpool team that is hungry. Yeah, take away what, what happened against Man United. I do think they're going to be hungry. Even more hungry at the fact that they didn't, you know, progress in the cup and they got knocked out. I think they want to see Klopp out. And they've shown resilience, even with their youngsters. I do think City are going to click in to gear when it really matters because we've seen it year after year. We saw your last last year when they were eight points behind Arsenal. Yeah, so in terms of mentality, they don't bottle it. And they were eight points behind. So I've seen this before with Man City. With Arsenal, I've not seen it. Out of out of out of the three teams, we've got the team that's got we've got the squad that's got no world class players. We've got the manager that isn't um isn't world class and hasn't won the league. And doesn't and has never got over the line, so that is why I, that's why I see it the way that I see it. Um, but yeah, I didn't expect Mo to say that Liverpool will win it. Um, but I, I can't really consistent. debate. I can't debate what you said because yeah, the, it's, it's the, your opinion. I can't. I don't think they win it. It's between Arsenal and City. They're too good. <sighs> I don't know, Staffy. Staffy, you're saying we're too good. We we were doing this last season, man. You know what I mean? Trick me once, shame on me. Trick me twice, bro. Like, nah. Yeah, but they didn't trick you twice yet. So maybe if they do, I'll take it back. No, they tricked me for 20 years. <laughs> Not the same exact team. Stop it. I know uh, what you mean. It doesn't, it's <laughs> you know, I'm it's talking about this crop team. of players. I didn't think they'll win last year, but I do think they'll win it this year. 
Bro, really... I, I, do you know what it is, yeah? When me and Mo go back to back, yeah? The thing is, Mo, yeah? I would have a lot more confidence if I saw this manager implement a different style to counteract when teams try to nullify us. I'd have more confidence if he, he actually addressed the bench. I'd have more confidence if he at least addressed getting a striker that's going to bag me goals. Those things for me will always be our Achilles heel in this race. Yeah. And I don't need it to fall apart for me to say it. I'm saying it early because I already see it. It's that, but it's, it's down to the club. Listen, at the end of the day, I, I, I just, I just don't see it. There are rumors that Jorginho, uh, the last thing I'm going to touch on before we wrap up and we're going to redirect to Staffy TV. Make sure you're also liking and subscribing to Judge Mo's channel. Absolutely flying. You know what I'm saying? So is Staffy's. So go support Staffy as well. A very great content creator as well. Make sure you go and support. Jorginho may be leaving at the end of the season, apparently. Um, what do you guys make of it? Do you think it's do you think we should hold on to Jorginho? Or do you think we could let him go? Nah. Start with Staffy. It was a short-term thing to try to win you the league right now. Adding, you know, sometimes you add these experienced players for a year to two to try to get you over the line. And if you don't get over the line, even if you do, I think he still goes. Um, because it would mean one or two things. Either he succeeded at his job, which is help with the experience that he has, get this team over the line, or he just failed and he guys didn't win anything. He was never supposed to be here for the long term, anyways. I don't think anyone saw that signing happening at the time. Mm. Um, so yeah, whether it goes left or right, he should go that, that, at the end of the season. You should be getting some uh, the next young Jorginho now. Because you're also gonna have a situation with Partey leaving. And some of your midfielders not being good enough. So it's time to, to to strengthen anyways. I don't think there's any reason we should keep him after this year. Fair enough. Uh, uh, keep him one season. Who cares? This thing is very well. They care, Mo. They want better players. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you're gonna get if you're gonna get a better player, fine. But party's gonna go. Andrew Jr. is gonna go. So who are you getting? What are you getting then? I don't know. I'm not the scout. Why not... Oh, Virginia... you're telling me there's no players, good players out there. No, but he can get Eugene is free, bro. Just he can be the third guy. He can help. Them. See this Mo guy. But Mo, it's not about being free. You're saying the same thing Traps told me yesterday about McTominay. He said if we get sell McTominay, it means we have to replace him with someone better. No, but he's sell McTominay. The aren't selling Jorginho stuff, he's going for it free. Does, it doesn't matter. Okay, it's Ericsson, same McTominay. thing for me, because Ericsson is going at the end of the summer. What's the point of keeping Ericsson? It was a good signing. Yeah, but uh, Jorginho is more beneficial than Ericsson, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, he's in a better team. You can't argue that if, if Ericsson was in that team, he would look better. The, the The point that I'm trying to make is these players are all not good enough. They're here to serve a purpose. And once that purpose is over, you get rid of them. You know, you don't, you just, I'm not going to launch, uh, uh, um, hold on to him for, for so long just because he was for free and I don't want to spend money in the summer. No, go spend money. Go spend money, get someone better. I think it's pretty mm -hmm. simple. I think I'm being fair, honestly. Listen, hey, I, 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 listen I'm, like I'm all about. Manager. I'm all about go get someone better. I'm all about that. Go get. Uh, listen, better. I'm all about getting Barella. I'm all about getting. Uh, what's your centre back as well? Uh, well, not you're not getting Barella. You're not getting. Barella. <laughs> nah. Well, you're trying to tell me your your team. Your, your so now there's not... no options, but now oh, you can't get Barella. Okay. He's not That's gonna get Barella because they're not gonna pay the money. Then they're how am not gonna do another? They they're not gonna do another. They're not gonna do a hundred. Or 90 million pounds again this summer, unless Arsenal. Well, we're looking like we're selling a lot of players, Mo. So if you can... win the league. No, but we're, 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 it look, the reports are out, obviously. Reports are out that we're going to sell ESR. He's unhappy. We're going to yeah. sell Inketia. He's unhappy. We're going to sell Lokonga because he's deemed not good enough. There's a lot of players. Cedric also needs to go. That's at least you sell a couple of those players. We're at least getting 50 mil. Put another 50 mil. There you go. We've got Barilla money. Yeah, Inter for Inter, everybody's for sale. Just to let you know, everyone. I know you need That's money, bro. You need money. You always need money until uh, uh, until you get rid of. Uh, until we pay owners. the loan, bro. Until we pay the loan. Don't you have what? What are they? Are they Chinese? I think they're a Chinese. They're group, Chinese, right? and the Chinese government put limitations on the investment. They can't spend of over a certain limit. Yeah, because it's outside of China. It's 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 an economic thing. You're not allowed to spend over a certain limit when you're investing outside the country. So until you actually get rid of your Chinese owners one day, you'll always be, oh, I need, uh, you are always be a seller's club. It doesn't matter how good you are, because I'll tell you what, yeah, yeah. if your ownership was good, no way you would have sold Unana and them after going to the Champions League final. You would have had to sell him. Good. They had to pay 70 million in that That's summer. what I'm saying. If it wasn't for financial reasons, 
your t- your ownership would be adding more. Yeah, well, You're never well, going to be in a situation where like, oh, I'm so good. But yeah, I'll but get he's Italian. It's different. He's Italian. He might. Yeah, he Mo, might. you just gotta accept where your club's at. This is what the owners want. You just I am. Accept. I am accepting. I don't know what to tell you. What do you no, want? No, no, no. Do? Don't lie to us. We. I heard you call out your ownership before. I heard you. Yeah, but but they, they're the people that own the club. Didn't you say? And and Northside, correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't you say? F everyone who signed Sanchez in the club. Correct. F everyone who signed. There's Donny van de Beek lookalike in the club, Correct. aka Klassen. Didn't you say F everyone who signed? Who was the other player that missed the penalty? Was it Lautaro? I don't know. You just Martinez, named the, Martinez. And he said Mkhitary. Bro, he said F a lot of people. It sounds Sanchez like Mo is well. toxic Sanchez. and he negative. Sanchez, I remember. I said, yeah, that was the first one I said. It sounds a bit yeah, but toxic these are the same negative. people. Yeah, listen, this was the heat in the moment. This is the same people. That <laughs> oh, so that's Quran, the heat in the moment. Okay. Quran, and they signed a lot of free uh, players. This guy, that. you see how the... Yeah, the, but the, the, owners are, the owners are actually holding the... If you want to know the story, the owners are holding the club at ransom. Oh, so I know. Owners, we agree with you. We the agree with you. The owners took the loan. Took the loan. Right? Mm. The owners took the loan. And they can pay back. So actually, the club is... In I don't know how to say it in English. There is a, not a bond. There is a, I don't know when 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 so, if we don't pay with May and then something someone else someone will take over the club. Uh, like, uh, get the bail list down. Get the bail list down. That's how we can help you. Someone 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 will actually. I want that to happen. I actually want the club to be sold. It's not gonna go bankrupt. What's gonna happen is it's gonna be sold. Cheaper. Gonna... So the owners want more than they started with two billion with the debt. Like you, you inherit the debt, and then they went down to one billion and you inherit the debt. And nobody everybody told them no. Why, why would you want that? The revenue is not that high. So I want the club to be not sold. These companies, they are financial inst- you know, like the uh, I don't know how to call this. They're gonna like sanction them. Is Loan the shots, they're gonna they're gonna take no. them and then they're gonna sell the club in an auction. So someone is like Man City. Someone else is going to take over the club. Come the club on, man. Listen, Cronkies, come on, bro. You know what I mean? They can be our feeder club. Listen, let's go. If you know they saying? take over Inter, then the Cronkies will not buy a team in Italy. It has to be an Arab person. Oh, now he's going to twerk for Qatar, bro. Oh, <laughs> no, we already... We already we are, what do you need? You tried your owners... Your owners played the Arabs and didn't sell them the, the, the club. Listen, listen. S- Your s- owners s- lied. Your owners lied. Sir him, Sir him Ratcliffe got me. Sir him Ratcliffe. I'm a top red. Bro, Sir him Ratcliffe might borrow you from Europe next year, bro. You might not be allowed to play in Europe next year. Sir him Ratcliffe. Knees, you know, if Man United get sixth no. and Nice get fifth, Man United are not going to be able to play Europa League. They're gonna, they that's have to not going to happen, league. Mo. We all but know you know, that, that's a very plausible situation. It's not going to happen, Mo. Not Why? We'll talk about this in a different stream mode. Okay, okay, let's not be all over the place right now. I'm pretty sure these guys are smart enough to know that if we're going to buy a club, we're not going to register under the same exact ownership or we're not allowed to compete with both of them in European competitions. You can. All these clubs that have... Running you, up bids, yeah, you, can, you, can, running up you can, but you cannot play both in the same competition. If Nice gets fourth or fifth and you get sixth, you have to play conference league. That's the law. It's the rule. Well, I'll read. I'll, I'll read about it later, Mo. Read about it and let me I'm know. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we know what we're doing. I trust. Imagine I trust that we'll... conference league. I think that'll be hilarious, bro. I'm not Spurs, bro. Mo, the chat is putting up bids, bro. Liverpool fans, Chelsea fans, Arsenal fans, we're all putting up bids, bro. How much do you want for Barella, bro? We got an auction going on in the chat right now. Me, I value him as what? As about from eighty to hundred million euros. Nah, I'll give you sixty. You might need the money. Well, I think the owners <laughs> might accept it. It's not me. The owners might accept it. It's, uh... <laughs> Don't even look at his face. Look at his face. Look at his face. To the owners, you might... he was angry. Let me tell you, last season, he was angry when Onana went for 40. Because he was like, he was the best goalkeeper in the Champions League. How do we only sell him for 40? 40 they they needed the money, bro. They needed the money to spend, to pay the loan. And Man United played the long game for Onana. There you go, bro. And they yeah, won. There you, go. there you go. I mean, we didn't win, did we? <laughs> we didn't win, did we? Telling you, yeah. you kind of did. You kind of did. At the end, you win. You won. He's gonna. He's this gonna be guy. all right. He's gonna be all right. Absolute oh, fraud. Northside move Havertz to the signing of the season. Winter surfer, you're a fraud, bro. You're absolute fraud. About you can't spin you... winter without win. Hold on. If 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 Arsenal win the league, isn't Havertz and uh, have, imagine Havertz scoring like another five five goals, six goals, eight goals? 
Isn't he in the category of signing of the season? No, because if he scores another six goals, that's 13 goals. That's less than Lacazette and he was damn a flop. So what yeah, but he won about? the league. There's a difference. There's 13 goals that win you in the league and 13 goals that don't even get you in the Champions League. Yeah, there will be so... 13 goals, 13 clutch goals. Yeah, but, but some of them claim that they did hours and hours of Havertz hate. It doesn't sound like it. You're trying to you see, push you another... see how Mo's starting. You see how he's starting. Do you see what I mean? About you're trying to guy. say that he hates the Havertz. He's laughing. Not... Look, he doesn't even... This filu da puta. Let me get the chinelo out. You absolute filu da puta. Bro, Havertz is absolute bomb, bro. Havertz is... Imagine, how about this imagine Havertz scoring the league winner. The LFC for the double is saying. How about imagine this one? If they that... win the league and Havertz scores the, the 13 or whatever goals you said, let's do a show on your channel. Have a, have a show under your name, under your channel... And promote the Havertz is player of the season. How about no, that? Player of the season. Good one, Staffy. Yo, yo, spot me, Staffy. Player of the season. Me, Are you serious? Me, Staffy, Staffy, G. Player of the season. <laughs> Signing of the season. Sorry, that's what I meant. But the problem is, he's always going to be second to Declan Rice. Oh, so now he's not uh, signing of the season. The minute I told him, let's do a show on your, uh, on your channel. It's, oh, it's but awesome. now it's I just awesome remembered that Rice. League. Uh, I remember that guy Rice. He has so to what, when it was he with the surfer win. saying the, to to the no yeah, side, yeah, it was yeah, like, oh, yeah. but he has a case. When Mo now has to so put ridiculous. his face on the line and show people face when he says that, mm. oh, but you know, I just remember I that Rice you. exists. Gala you Malaya, Rice five yeah. minutes ago. So this, is Rice. this is not yeah. enough stuffy. See, Mo, this is hard, man. You told you're making a case about him winning and winning the last goal. So why forget that Clarice? That Clarice didn't win the winner. That's, that's your Declan Rice has been the most consistent midfielder in the league all season. So why are you telling me about how about scoring the winner then? <laughs> I'm just giving you a hypothetical. <laughs> Mo is a separate, you know what Mo does, bro? You know what Mo does? Mo is like this person. Okay, like you can ask me, like, yo, Stuffy, what do we want to grab dinner today? I'm like, bro, I want Italian today. I just, I really want to eat Italian. And Mo will tell you, okay, by the way, so I'll let you know that there's pizza, there's hamburgers, there's fried chicken, <laughs> there's Chinese. The sushi, but Mo, I told you already when I, I know, but I'm just letting you know there's another options. I never asked for the other options, Mo. Why are you telling maybe, us the other maybe options? You know, maybe you don't know the other options. <laughs> I think, I think Northside is very aware when he says that Rice has been signing this season. He's very aware that Havertz exists. No, I never. I don't I think, think he needs Rice, to Rice has been definitely. The, mm, if Liverpool win the league, McAllister has to be signing the season. Then. Stuffy, okay, that that's was something an A1 I analogy. A1 analogy. Bro, Both he just brings up things that are irrelevant. No, they yeah. are relevant yeah. because they're still Stuffy, food. what do you want? I want kofta. Okay, Stuffy, there's kebab, there's hummus. Mo, I want, I want kofta. I'm just saying, you know, the shawarma. Once you say I want kofta, lamb. you're going to move you're on. Fluffy. You're fluffy. <laughs> you know what the thing is? I present you with all the options so people won't come at me later. Yeah, no, you don't me. need the options. You're you only, you're just... only, okay, so here's the thing. You only presented us with three options. Well, there are five options, so here you go. Oh my God. Wallahi, we didn't need these options. We know how this exists. Yeah, this guy, As a man. partner, yeah, Mo must be so jarring. You know when you ask your girl, what do you want to eat? Uh, I don't know. Oh, no, you actually, eat I actually don't have any of this at home. Look at that. So like, you're not no, a devil's advocate with your wife, just no, with us. I, I no. do sometimes when she buys. If she's Only. buying, for example, if she's buying the shoes, and then I was like, "But what about the other one? How about the? Do you do you think?" You See, now he's gonna throw her shoes? off. She really wanted these shoes, but now she's gonna feel like shit buying them because Mo pointed out other shoes. That I do might the look same. Better. So that's why I do the same for myself. That's why I have to think about all the options before making a decision. That's how just I think. I actually well, yeah. think about all well, the options. Fun. And send them anyway. Well, you, anyway. Well, you're 100. You know I love you. I love you, Mo. How yeah. many don't likes ever, are don't ever change. This is, this don't is ever absolutely change. horrendous because we aren't even on enough likes on the stream. I exactly. Know All I'm saying is, Mo, never change, never change, bro. Because the laughs you give me are priceless. Yeah. Well, unless sometimes I just sit there bored and I want to watch some corruption, and I'm like, let me see if Mo's live. Well, oh, hey, I just want to see chaos. So I'm like, let me see if Mo's live today. I just want to see chaos. I want to see Arsenal fans and Liverpool fans and, and Spurs fans going at it. Let me see Mo's live. Oh, shit. Mo's li no, live. Never mind. Boring day. <laughs> Mo's live later tonight. I will be there. I the will thing be is, there. If whoever you support, Mo will give you a counter argument. If you die on the counter argument he presented you, he will cook you again. But he's the one that presented <laughs> the counter argument. Yeah? <laughs> no, I know this guy. <laughs> He's like, oh, do you want it? Do you want it? The spicy falafel. You know what? I, I, you know what? I used to 
people used to say uh, when I was at school, high school, they used to say, I can debate anything, even if I'm not going to, I just can debate it. My, 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 my mom used to that. tell me, my mom used to tell me sometimes, you can argue anything, even if you aren't convinced. We know that you aren't convinced about this thing. You just, but you can argue. Like, no, no, no. You know what he would do? He would finally say you the falafel. And you know what, Mo? Fuck it. Let me get the falafel. Mo's going to be like, just want to let you know, there's lamb shawarma as well. Mo, you just sold me the falafel. Now we're changing again. <laughs> Why can't we commit to something, it's bro? It's called content. It's called content. This guy will sell you the take. You know, you know what, Mo? Fuck it. I agree with you. Mo's going to be like, hold on. There's a third oh, narrative man. now. I finally sold you the first one. And you gave up. You gave up the first one. I so maybe you pay one. me again to get a one. second sandwich. Oh my god! Wallahi, it's exhausting, bro. Before, listen, I can't stream with more during Ramadan. I don't have enough energy, bro. I need to have a, a very good meal to get to fill me with energy before I go on debate with Mo. Because other than that, I get too I get too tired, man. Wallahi, too tired. This guy, he's uh... funny. Man. I love it. I do, I do love it though. I know what he's doing. The thing is, I fall for it every time. This the problem is also me. Every time I go on his show, I see him leading me some, and he has a little smirk. He goes, but no side. <laughs> but what about what about Havertz? He's been scoring lately, and I'll be like, this is starting to boil my blood. You know, <laughs> you know <laughs> it's content, bro. You know, and you as have soon to, as I snap, have, yeah, he's like, oh my god, the guys, best guy guys, 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 one person at a time, guys. I'm like, Mo, you caused the commotion, <laughs> guys. I can't hear anything, guys. <laughs> We have a we have a say in Egypt. You you yeah. killed the person and then you attended the funeral. That was that's such what Mo does. Mo Mo literally causes chaos and he attends the funeral. Like Mo, the chaos yeah, oh is because of you. Yesterday stream on Osam. I wanted so bad to argue that Dalo and the Ben White thing, and I just started it and I just sat back and enjoyed what happened. I mean, it to was be fair, brilliant... Ido was waffling, bro. When he said Ben White is is very good technically, Ben White is one of the 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 the. the no, Charles Do you think Ben White is technically good? Technically, <clears throat> that's I think the he's decent. I don't think he's trash. He said he's very. We never said he's good. trash. I, yeah, I he said he's one of the superior. Like, I give my answer. They, they went to the, you see? You see? No, 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 no. But you, you're not because you need to understand the question. One of them, I can't remember who. Said that Ben White is one of the most gi technically gifted players Egal, in Egal the Arsenal that. team, and I'm that. like, what? No, he's not. No, he's not. If if I would pick out one player who's the least technically gifted in that eleven or that ten, excluding the goalkeeper, it's him. It's crazy I actually think that it's they him. said the other way. The, it said the other way around. That's what I'm saying. If you think Ben White is one of the most technically gifted players in your team, it means everyone else is shit because he's not yes. that good on the ball. No, really. Imagine Ben White being one of the most technically uh, technically gifted players on your team. Uh, and you're saying that in a team that has Saka, Martinelli, Odegaard, uh, uh, Rice, Jesus, um, Saliba, Gabriel. Even Raya is very good on the ball. I, I was just shocked that that was a real take. Like, I, And then he tried to tell me that Ben White is clear of the low. I never said the low is clear of Ben White. I just think that the low is a better right back. But to say that Ben oh, White oh, is oh, clear... Oh. When he I doesn't, did. he's not even a traditional right back. He doesn't even I overlap. Did, I did wind them up. Like I said, by the way, Dalo is levels ahead Ben White, and they just went flip shit. I saw the. It said he's not levels, but I do think he's better. But when you did that, <laughs> Sad, Sad just stopped talking. Yeah. And I, I don't believe him. Sad just gave up, bro. Sad, <laughs> Sad just. He got looked. He got looked depressed. For life. Well, I <laughs> Sad almost fell asleep like he was listening to Jigglypuff, bro. It was over. Right? This was over. He heard, he, he, he heard Mo speak, he heard the Jigglypuff, and he just went to bed. Bro, <laughs> it's crazy. He got looked depressed because when you put Dalo in team of the season, they were like, We gave up. We gave up. But listen, Mo's gonna eat. The fact that it's a free horse race and there's gonna be so many twists and turns. And yeah. Mo has no 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 horse in the race. Mo is going to eat good. I'm telling you, Christmas is coming early for Mo. I'm telling you. Yeah. Look at his face. He's ready. Yeah, he's ready because he already knows what everybody said. Yeah, with me, he can't go back on what I say. He'll just keep rebuttaling me and what everything I say. Yeah, but everybody else, best believe, Mo has all the receipts. Mo <laughs> has a pad at home. No, bro. Everybody they're knows. all, bro. They're all. They're um. Oh, they're, they're all. I don't want to say it on the stream. I don't want to get you because <laughs> none of them wants to have chest. And I tried yeah, to I lure all of that. them, bro. Hey, hey, I tried hey, to, 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 to go narratives. Oh, I tried no, to go narratives. Them. None all of them, bro. None. None of them. 
only even Mike Hamza does. in the only Hamza. Hamza is the biggest underdog. Serious? The biggest Hamza underdog. Said, wait, wait. Hamza said he's an underdog to Huddersfield when they faced him. <laughs> you think Hamza None ever speaks them, the truth? I couldn't get one of them to say that we are favorites. I don't want to say. I don't want to say we're winning the league. I don't want you. I just want to say. Want someone to one of them to say yes, we are the better team, or one of them to say I have a better fixture list. None of them want to say. Each one wants to play underdog. All of them. them. I told them, I said, I said that they, they, they act like my uncles when we go to a restaurant. Everyone wants to pay the bill. No, you pay the bill. No, I'm paying the bill. I'm paying the bill. <laughs> Everyone's like, no, 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 you're the, you're the favorite. No, 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 you're the favorite. You have the better fixtures. You have the better manager. You have the better squad. You have the better. <clears throat> bro, someone speak with chess, please. What is this? What is this, bro? At least I don't want you guys to be deluded, but someone speak with chess, man. Come on. <laughs> like back in the day when we used to win the league, we used to go out and like, no, I'm better than your team. No, 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 I'm better. I'm better. We all argued who's better. Right now they're all arguing who who's be, who's, who's worse. worse. Oh no no no, you're better than me. No 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 no, side, you're better than me. Wallahi, you're better than me. I'm like, bro, what's I, this? I've never, by the way, I've never seen this in since social media and YouTube started. I've never seen this. They're all traumatized, bro. No one wants to get yeah. cooked online. That's the thing. No, what, they're all what, worried. Bro, none of the no side. You don't understand. We do hours and hours of content with content creators. Mm. They're Bro, all traumatized from none of media. them That's what I'm is to saying say. my team is better than your team or my team have better fixture list or my team is favorites. None of them wants to say it. Bro, everyone's worried about getting clipped. Everyone's worried about getting tweeted about. Everyone's worried. I mean, listen, when Egal doesn't want to speak with chess, but you're making a combined 11 with, with, with Liverpool. I mean, sorry, with Real Madrid. I don't know what to say. Hamza doesn't want to speak with chess. But he's always on, like on Twitter. Or and yeah, and bro, him. baby Be Be Berezi and baby this, baby and that. They and they ask him and he tells you my team is worse than the other two. And then he calls into to, to the radio in England with his name, saying his <laughs> name is, is Mo instead of Hamza because he doesn't want to get exposed. Bro, what is this, bro? Well, I have never seen anything like this. And then Hassam doing the devil's advocate thing and saying, <laughs> oh, that, that, that they're all better than us and I'm the underdog. When in the beginning in the summer, he was saying, uh, we're going to win the league. Ah! We still got that clip. We still got that clip of him saying we're gonna win the league. Okay. Now they're gonna believe us. Now and now he doesn't okay, believe. Bro, I actually, I just realized I have a meeting. No, no, no. We're gonna wrap up. We're gonna wrap yeah, up. I have we're a meeting now. We're gonna wrap up. But listen, people, make sure <clears throat> you flip in GPS, grand puta safadas. Make sure you go like and subscribe to Staffy TV. Yeah. Staffy TV, one of the realest Man United fans out there. Go and subscribe. Don't be a viado all your life. Don't be a chupacabra. And also go and subscribe to Judge Bo as well. Yeah? Because we need clips as well. I want to get the K, bro. We need the interwatch alongs as well. Don't go anywhere. Yeah? Because you better yeah, continue we're, we're that. We're, 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 huh? I'm going to do... I'm gonna Listen, do... we're tired of you doing this next season. We, we want to see interwatch alongs. That's it. Every That's game. I'm going to do Premier need... League watch alongs. No, you know we, wa we don't we'll care do for you doing Premier League. League. We'll do it together. You haven't Me, watched you, video and video. Hussam will all we don't sit care down. More. I don't care whose channel it is. We're doing watch alongs for Inter every day. And I'm getting the Juventus top as well. I'm buying wine with my own money. Oh, God. Yeah? And I'm putting Judge Mo in the back, yeah? Don't <laughs> worry about that. And I'll yeah. get a Milan one. I don't put Judge Hamza, Mo. Yeah, Hamza compared Alvarez to Batis Tutor. It's fucking crazy, bro. Oh, there you anyway, go. <laughs> I need to go to the meeting. So yeah, let's go. Uh, big up, big up, big up, big up. We'll in see bit, you, people. Bro. In a bit. Love. Make sure you like and subscribe to Judge Mo, bro. He's a he's a real one, man. He's a real one. Do you know what I mean? <clears throat> he's a real one. The thing is, yeah, before we wrap up, people, like and subscribe to these guys, yeah, because we can have banter. That like, Judge Mo will stick it on me. I'll stick it back on him. Pause. You know what I mean? Stuff you'll send for me. We'll send back. Everyone can take it. Do you know what I'm saying? Everyone can take it. Hussam as well, the other fraud as well, said telling me that he's too ill. But you ain't too ill to be doing Meek Mill's Twitter fingers in the chat. Yeah, sending North London forever. Don't think I forgot about that one as well, Philo Daputa. Don't worry. We're coming for you. Don't worry about that one as well, yeah? Listen, but listen, someone sent me a clip of him earlier. Let me let me, let me, let me show it to you here. Yeah, I don't on, know why. Twitter, these Twitter people these tweet, Twitter people love to send me stuff about Hussam. I don't know what this, this is. It's, uh, it's a little bit creepy. But let me play it anyways. Where is it? <laughs> Run the clip. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this is, but someone sent me this earlier. That's that's his th that's him after they do it. Look at him. This is when Klopp <laughs> leaves. Look at him hiding from seeing Klopp out properly. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Like the Jordanian vampire, bro. Look, it's in a desert too. Is this a desert, bro? 
The Jordanian vampire. <laughs> Look at Alan. I'm telling you. <laughs> the Jordanian vampire. But listen, people, we're going to redirect now to Staffy TV. Tell them what we're redirecting to, bro. I'm actually going live in an hour. I didn't even notice. So we're going live in an hour. But listen, it's never too late. In an hour. I know you're doing that, but it's 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 it's, it's scheduled every week at this time. So we're going live in an hour. Make sure you tune in for American Waffle, episode 25. And we're going to be doing a combined 11 for the most overrated players in the Premier League. Make sure to tune in. Jacob will be there. TJ will be there. Um, Marshall will be there. And Das is finally back. Oh, and Vader. I almost forgot to mention Vader. Devil's Advocate Vader, under, Underdog Vader, Fraud Vader, all that stuff. So we're all going to be there. Make sure you tune in. And when we redirect, I know I said it's in an hour. But all you could do is turn on the notification bell. Go do whatever errands you got to do for the hour. Take a nap. Go grab dinner or whatever it is and come back in an hour. You'll be reminded. Turn on the notification bell and subscribe. We're almost on 5K, so get me to 5K. Come on, come on my G. Keep pushing, bro. Keep pushing. Big up, Stuffy. Thank man. you. You're, you're a great you. content creator. And listen, what's, what's it called again? What's that what? show called again? What that show? show that you're doing? Oh, American Waffle. American Waffle. Oi, that idea is elite. Elite, tell them the rules so they know what they're gonna they're gonna be expecting. All right, let me tell you the rules real quick. And today is gonna be extra spicy, and I'll tell you why. When you come on American Waffle, the reason it's called Waffle is because when waff someone waffles too much, you can put them in a waffle cell. So if you super chat someone to be put in the cell, Sunshine is there. Sunshine knows what's up with American Waffle. She super chatted before. That fraud put me in the cell one time. I didn't forget that Sunshine. But you can put your 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 favorite content creator in the cell. And they get timed out for five minutes. So the show goes on for five minutes and they can't say anything until someone super chats them out or the time expires. The reason today is going to be so spicy is because if you get put in the cell, but it's your turn to vote and you're in the cell, guess what, caramba? No vote for you. So <laughs> your, your turn gets skipped. So everyone today is going to pray that they're not in the cell because if they get skipped, they don't get a vote. So they're being deprived of their basic rights, which is the vote. So make sure you guys tune into that show. It's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And I appreciate all the support we get, as always. Nah, come on, man. Listen, people, make sure we're going to redirect. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. As soon as Staffy goes live, extra content. Listen, it's dry out here. It's dry like the Sahara Desert right now in terms of content and football. So when there's more content, go support it. You know what I mean? Go support it. So listen, we're going to redirect right now. Big up to Staffy. Staffy's link is in the description. So is Moe's and so is Carefree's Lewis. But we're going to redirect straight there. So just stay on the live and you're going to go redirect straight to Staffy. Hit the bell notification. Hit the like. And we're out, Kadamba. Love.